We have to conquer. We, all of us is needed. We have to harambe this thing. We got to pull together our small resources, medium resources, big resources to join and strengthen ourselves across the oceans and the villages and the continents to put together a powerful coalition that can meet the polluters where they are and put their butt. I want to say something else, but I'm in mixed company, so I ain't going to say what the okay. is. Oh, I said it anyway. Okay. All right. So I wanted to shift just a little bit. Because what is it going to take you to engage in nature-based solutions? You know, every year we come up with something else. <laughs> every year we got a new thing we got to attract to the community. And they be like, dang, we got no intellectuals. We ain't going to school. We just trying to survive and help you to solve the problem. But what is it going to take students like you, activists like you, warriors like you, Freedom fighters like you to stay engaged for 60 years of plus. Because it looks like that's how long it's going to take us to make inch by inch by inch. But every time we get something, they change it and take something. Am I right or wrong? Every time we win one battle, we are faced with 40 more. So what is it going to take for you to say, okay, I'm in. I'm in. I'm going with you. I don't know where you're going, but it looks like it's going to freedom, so I'm going with you. And I want to be free. I want to be self-determining. And when you are people of color, when you are indigenous, when you are African, when you are black and American, you can't call yourself African, you are up against a whole lot of stuff. So how is it that we will keep you engaged? So I'm going to do two things. First, I'm going to ask you, to think of all the names of your ancestors. Think of the names of all those people whose shoulders you stand upon. Think of all those people who have lost their lives, Brother Trump, on the front line and the fifth line, just fighting for the right to breathe. So as a part of nature-based solutions, I'm going to stay on that, but she's going to get me right there. As a part of nature-based solutions, I'm coming straight for the juggler. You are a part of nature. And you are a part of the solution. So think of all those people who have gone before you, have fought the good fight, and lost their lives as a result of being sick, and then being sick and tired of being sick and tired. We used to say, we're going to kick those polluters right out of town. We're going to kick those polluters right out of town. Because we're sick and tired of being sick and tired. But most of all, we are sick of dying. We're going to kick those polluters right out of town. So if you would, for a moment, just go with me to the ancestral kingdom where we can see and breathe and smell good air, where we can see and drink clean water, where we can reforest those desert places where we can pull on that internal strength to keep us going on. Come with me for just a moment to pay homage, to give thanks, as Janine said earlier, to give thanks for those who have paved the road and saw it not robbery to stay on the front line until we win. Because that is the goal, to stay on the front line, to understand all your strategies and tactics and initiatives and projects and all of that in the face of when you do what you do, Doc. They still kick you in the butt. That's right. They still don't give you enough money. What is $14 million to do what we need to do? It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. So if you will, 
just one moment. I want you to do two things. I want you to give thanks and homage to people like Connie Tucker from the Southern Organizing Committee who died way too soon. To give thanks and homage to Cecil, right here from New York, from We At, who went far too soon. To give thanks to Damo Smith, oh my God, from Greenpeace and every other kind of peace he could get his hands on. For all of the children who suffer from asthma every day on the west side of Savannah where we work constantly. I've been there for 30 years and I don't know what we're doing. But we're still doing, 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 doing. But most of those children are absent from school because of a simple thing called asthma. My God. So I want you to just say thank you.